When am I coming to Indianapolis? Annapolis? I don't know. Never been. Ooh. Is it good? No. Don't lie to me. No. Is no. it good there? No. I went to Pittsburgh once. It smells like suicide. Uh, D- didn't like Pittsburgh. Indiana is not bad. It's so boring. There. I like to come to places where it sucks and give people a good time, but let's go to Columbus, make them drive. <laughs> <laughs> Not too many comedy clubs in Atlanta anymore. They've got a couple. They got a lot of good comics that come out of Atlanta. I just the punchline heard Atlanta. A lot of good comics come out. There's of that a place, new man. one. There's a new comedy club I just heard the other day that's really good in Atlanta. Yeah. Damn, I lost three people. I was up to three seventy. I hate Atlanta. I'm not getting any good questions here, bitches. These questions are terrible. Killer whales. We already talked about killer whales. You know the problem is a lot of these people are coming at the end of this. And we've been broadcasting for how long now? Is it still recording? I think so. I wonder how long it... Wow. That's how long cool. How long have recording for? We've been doing oh, it. We're doing it for an hour and 40 minutes. We've wow. Been doing that. <laughs> That's cool. It records all of it, though. I know. Dude, you could also get a premium channel. An hour and 40 minutes. You know what that means? I think you can get a premium channel on Ustream. And it adds stuff. <clears throat> when am I in Chicago? I do not have a gig in Chicago. Dino Jitsu. I don't have anything lined up, but I'll be back there again. When am I planning to come back to Edmonton, Alberta? I was just there a couple months ago, and the problem is I gotta I gotta have new material for you guys, and uh, I like to come no more than once a year so that I have enough time to write a bunch of new shit. And so I don't I don't want you seeing the same act every time I come. I want ha- to have a bunch of new shit. I, this is the worst feeling in the world when you're performing for people and you know they're like, oh, I've heard this before. You want them to, like, some bits it's cool. Like, if you want to hear some bits, you know, that you like classics and you want to hear them live, I totally understand that. But I know you want to see mostly new shit. So I come to places, I try to come no more than once a year. And ideally, I like to come every year and a half. I like to make sure that you got plenty of new shit. I need to rewrite the first <clears throat> CD. Haha. <laughs> Brian thinks I need to put my first CD on DVD. Rewrite it and redo it. Rewrite, so. rewrite all the jokes and like master <laughs> every single jokes. I think it's better to just it leave it alone and just come up with new shit. Yeah. Anything in Philly. I'll be back in Philly again too. I love that place. Helium is the shit. That place is awesome. But if you go to JoeRogan.net, my website, there's my whole schedule up and it'll tell you exactly where I'm going to be. Chattanooga, Tennessee has a great comedy club. How dare you just fucking lie to me like that? <laughs> How dare you, dude? Trying to get Tennessee's to cool. Chattanooga. I like Tennessee. Chatt- I was just in Memphis. We had a good time in Memphis. Memphis was fun. You know what? I don't know. West Virginia. I hate West Virginia. Virginia is awesome, though. Have you ever been to Virginia? You don't like West Virginia? West Virginia sucks, but Virginia is kind of cool. Pittsburgh smells like crud by the funny bird right there. We're not all poo. Did you know that there's a show called Campus PD, and it's cops only on college campuses? That's hilarious. And it's just girls puking, getting naked, just bar fights. When's this show on? It's on G4. It's like on every day, I think. And it's called Campus, I think Campus PD, and it's just cops on campus. That doesn't that doesn't seem like it should be fair. You shouldn't, <laughs> if you're a kid, first of all, if you're, if you're in college, you're going to want to be on that stupid show. Because you're dumb, and you're going to want to be on TV. And it's not fair for them to exploit you like that. Exploit your vulnerability. They have this this incredible access. They can put you on fucking television. Like the Jersey Shore. They're for right. sure those guys are getting here's, exploited. Here's the They're question retarded. though. Some of the people in the show are blurred out and regular cops and the show but most of the time, they're not blurred. Because so if they're they, not blurred, it means they signed a release. Yeah, but did they get? What did they get? Did they get off? Did they get anything off, like charges off? Like, what is the deal That's there? That's a good question. You know, did they get five hundred dollar credit towards bail? Well, how bad are their crimes? Maybe the it's um, from like attempted murder all the way. I mean, you watch cops. There's, oh, cops. Yeah, yeah. I it's, think a lot of those guys that do it for money. They say, "We'll money. give you fifty bucks or hundred bucks, bucks. Sign this." And a lot of them are probably so fucking dumb. You know, they just sign it. They just want to be on TV. Man, for real. I wish I would do it. They gotta watch the Steven Seagal show. Steven Seagal has got this guy's fucking arrested. He's they pull him out of the, they they're fucking throwing this guy down on the ground. You know the guy said he had a gun. And he got pulled over in his car and he told him he had a gun. And they they grab him. They yank him out. You reach under your car and you said you had a gun. Oh man, I'm just I'm just trying to park the car. You know the 
is that Steven Seagal? <laughs> he goes, that's Steven Seagal? Yo, man, I just need to shake your hand, brother. They got this guy handcuffed. I mean, this guy is going to jail. He's, that's crazy. he's got a fucking gun in his car illegally. They pull him over, and all he wants to do is shake Steven I mean, is that Steven Seagal? He what, just wants to shake Steven Seagal's it on? hand. It's on A&E. A&E. It's A&E. fucking A&E brilliant. It. It's brilliant. Nothing more brilliant than the way he talks to black people, though. He goes into a, the black boys. What up, cuz? What's going on? Much I'm love. Serious? Much love. Yeah, yeah, he talks black to them. Ugh. It's awesome. It's awesome. Do you think Cheaters is real or fake? Cheaters is fake. Do you think yeah. all of it or just some of them? Some of it. Whatever they need to do. Yeah. Some of it's real. Some of when it he got you look stabbed. There, yeah. When he got stabbed, that shit was real. That guy fucking stabbed him. I was watching an episode last night and this boyfriend attacked the other boyfriend. He has him in a headlock. He's going, Ugh. I'm like, wait, he's just doing this. Yeah. He's not going, like, you would be Man, just punching fake. his head, right? You wouldn't yeah. just be going like this. A lot of it is staged. They give him some money, you know? Jersey yeah. Shore needs to die, Rob Fitz I haven't seen it 07 yet. says. I, I, I disagree, Rob Fitz 07. Why does it need to die? I haven't seen they're, it. They're definitely getting exploited, but you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. Exploit it. Exploit the shit out of them. Let me see it. Let me see the whole thing. I grew up with people like that. Guidos that don't sucks. just exist in, in New Jersey. I grew up with Guidos in Boston. I, did, I know a lot of them, from East Boston especially. I know a lot of Guidos. Revere. I used to teach Taekwondo at a place called Nautilus Plus in Revere. Revere, Massachusetts is the Guido capital of the world. It was all eye rocks and big hair. It was like some of my earliest jokes when I started out doing comedy were all about Revere. It was all about how, what a shit neighborhood it is. I would have hated growing up in that shit man the I good, the good thing is you appreciate nice relaxed cool people after you've been in sure. an environment like that you appreciate people that are on you know a different frequency instead of this always everybody trying to get pumped up you know I'm trying to get fucking swole you know everybody's trying to wear the right clothes I'm wearing fucking cologne the bitches like the smell like I knew so many guys like that when I watch Jersey Shore it's almost a little too painful to me <laughs> like I knew too many dudes like that Rob Fitz. Oh, I can't keep going to you, buddy. Bad Bobby. Hey, Bad Bobby. He says, I've been smoking weed and watching Jersey Shore all day laughing. Folks, you should follow Bad Bobby. He's a very funny I don't, guy. It might He's not got... be the real Bad Bobby. You don't think so? No, because there's two Anons. And I know one's real and I know one's not. Yeah, the spelling is a little too good. Right. Might be a fake Bad Bobby. Yeah. Bad Bobby is an internet legend, and I think some people <laughs> no spelling. might want to fake b- being Bad Bobby. <laughs> Bad Bobby's a real dude. He owns a strip club. He was a, it's a very interesting character. He was a stockbroker, made a ton of money, and then retired to open up a strip club in Vancouver and just just bangs chicks all the day. <laughs> he just, he just, he's just a bad motherfucker. He just eats steaks, shoots human growth. He's always telling people to chicks. get him coffee, too. <laughs> Just drink so much Shut coffee. Shut up and get me coffee. He's just a he's a he's a funny dude. He says really really funny shit, and he um, uh, he lives in Vancouver. I can't wait to see him again. We're gonna see him again in June when we go up there for the UFC. Holla back. That's the rumor. UFC in June. <laughs> okay. When's UFC Japan? I want to see that. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's hard to go over there. I think. So you can get some questions here. Man, the stream is coming in too fast. I can't read these bitches. That's cool, though, that it's the Twitter yeah. stream. Did I see the bit on SNL about Jersey Shore? Man, I haven't watched SNL in a long time. I find it really hard to trust them. You know, it's like so many of those sketches are just not funny. Yeah. It's too hard to trust, you know, to like to commit to sitting there. and I'll, It's one of those things I'll give you a few. I'll watch the clips when there's things in on the internet that are really funny, like Dick in a Box. Remember that? That was an SNL gag, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll watch them when they get to the internet, but I, I can't. I'm, I need somebody else to edit it, find the funny ones, and make a big deal out of it. I can't commit to watching that show. Have I seen Avatar yet? No, I have not. We're going to, Brian and I are going to go see it probably the day after Christmas. We're going to get fucking shroomed up and go to this I can't some of that we could go to the, the 3D dude I think we're already going to have heart attacks and then <laughs> yeah but to do a shroom that's the way to do it not crazy oh, not what Terrence never McKenna know. would call I took a little and I was shitting myself last time well let's just go with pot cookies you want to go with pot cookies <laughs> that's fine I got some pot cookies that are just like shrooms yeah they might as well be shrooms yeah I Please talk that. about ancient alien theories he says in all caps JG129 Please talk about ancient alien theories. The big theory of the ancient alien theories is that human beings 
were manufactured and that they use genetic manipulation to take monkeys and add alien DNA to the monkeys to make people. What do you think about that, Brian? I think Asians are aliens. They could be, right? Maybe that's why they're so hot. What the fuck is calling me while I'm on my podcast, goddammit?